Hello, Mr. Rabbit here. I am back. Now we are finally going to start our project after all that plugins and the annoying stuff. Now we're going to begin it. First of all, we need to get the uh, assets that we downloaded on itch.io. And I'm just gonna double click here around this one. Double click here. Okay, and then you open the folder that you uh, where you put the all the assets. We have a video. In earlier, in earlier video we did that, and that's what it, this is what it is. I already uh, extract my uh this folders right here, and this is it. this is it the monster, this one this one. I already extracted it i i also created like an example of what it's going to be like this is what it's going to be like on the left side this one this is going to be the player and this is going to be the mob the monster on the right this right side and this is like the boss okay of course there are a life bar here that we're gonna make on the game and also we're gonna give some i guess give some light lighting effects here i don't know maybe let's see like a red red light here on the this uh on the feet and also the white light here and this is where we're gonna put the card it's around here okay yeah i just gonna uh, i just did this so we have this uh you have the idea on how it's gonna be this is what we're gonna do okay and we're done all that now what we're we gonna do? i'm just gonna close this one okay where is it this is the folder of this is the folder of the files okay let me check oh yeah that's the one okay we just need to just first of all right click here create a folder right click create and then folder and we name this assets to make things organized and then we double click and then that's where we're gonna dump the, the folder now drag it and then drop here that's it and it's loading of course just a bit i think it's just a few it's just few so yeah then we maximize it it's here now okay we double click to make sure yeah you see that not double click just click see that it's here okay first of and foremost what we're gonna make do is the background okay this is right i'm just gonna rename it like left click and then f2 rename it to uh, bg i guess and we are just well we're gonna need to organize stuff here before we go and we go create a folder for the character name it character or player i guess player name it player and then again okay, folder and then mob for the enemy yeah and just is this the one yeah this is the character this one we just drag it there and also this is the monster we just drag all of this folder <laughs> there's a zip file here <laughs> forgot anyway just ignore that uh what i have to do is this one uh select this tree click then shift then click here so and then it will highlight then just drag it here okay it's all organized now okay we're good hmm. so first of all what we have to do is i guess right click here right click and then go for ui i don't know not ui create empty and then we call this uh, we're just gonna call it. I'm just gonna call it world. Okay. 
and then after that we just drop this one just drag it there yeah okay okay hmm i guess i'm just gonna uh we are gonna after that after you see this i'm just gonna i'm just gonna after dragging that i'm just gonna click this world and then set this the position position is basically the position of the object on this uh scene okay this is the x y and z and we are going for 2d so z is not really important and we just set it to zero 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 okay set it to zero all of that and after that we just drag this bg here okay we just set it to zero this position okay so it's all in the center okay after that uh I guess we're just gonna create canvas, I guess. Canvas now. Uh, this is how I do it. Maybe the address is different. Uh, I'm just gonna right click here, UI, and then canvas. Okay. Canvas, and. Um, I think. And then after that, left click here, and then render mode. Go for screen space camera okay after that you just drag this main camera to render camera okay so it will reference to that camera this is the main camera you just drag it here okay everything set everything's fine now we can this is the actual game that you're gonna see the scene you see that oh it's scaled you just scale it to one so you see all of it see this is a blue one yeah this is the thing that you're gonna see in an actual game like if i play it now you'll see you'll see that see you you if you're wondering why m mine is different when i play it because i set mine to a different color okay and we uh we're gonna set it to you to yours okay uh so how you're gonna set it is just go to edit anyway the reason is it's better to set the uh, color different when it's playing so it's very obvious that it's playing because sometimes it gets you confused if it's playing or not so it's better to just differentiate the color and now we go for edit and then project settings i'm just gonna go in type color is it color i don't oh, no no it's not here it's on preference i guess see that it's already here well you just try type this color it will pop up there and then you see that and you will try to find the uh, if i can find it though display mode then See that play mode did you can choose whatever color you want yeah we, we just uh, play it so you'll you'll see okay play mode and you just click here you'll see it it's different now i just go and go for this blue so it will not hurt my eye but it's up to you you can go red if you want Mm. now it's all set up okay now go back to what we're doing uh this main camera oh it's oh yeah we're gonna go for main camera and we're gonna change the position the z you know why it's gone i'm gonna show it why if we go back to uh 3d we go back to the scene here and go for this one this is the camera did you see this this is the camera and the reason why it's not you're not seeing it because it's way past it 
You see this the camera pointing there? It's in it's here. It's basically behind now. So I just need to go for negative one, I guess it's fine. See? It's okay now. Negative one. Okay. So good. Now we can see all of it. Yeah. I guess we're just gonna go in our scene again and go for 2D. Yeah. And just I'm just gonna rescale this BG. Go for BG here. Scale this a bit. Yeah. Okay. And then go back to our game. Yeah, it's okay. I think this is fine now. Anyway. So if you're wondering why we need the uh, the universal pipeline, this is where we gonna use it now okay if you click here okay let me just if you click here uh, I'm just gonna click here background right click and then go for 2d object and then oh no, it's not 2d it's light if you didn't set your universal pipeline this will not appear this one the spotlight 2d and all this 2d this will not appear it's not there the only reason it's here is because we set the uh, universal pipeline and that's what we're gonna use and i guess i'm just i'm gonna use this spotlight here and you see now that it's gone because now that there's a light now it's relying on it now it's all set to uh shadow now see this it's added it's basically now it's the the parent is the bg and the light is the child we put it there okay there's a reason as to why we put it as a child so if we move this around if i move this around you see this the light is uh following it this one because it's under it that's a thing I just I just put control Z there to undo. Yeah, you see that? And it, so if you not if you did put it there and then move it, what's gonna happen is it's just gonna see. We'll have behind and just go control Z. So yeah, we just put it here. Now you might think that okay, what's the difference? Well, the thing is about 2D lights, uh, you can manipulate many things. If we go here and go for game, I think it's aesthetically. I think it's this is better, and we can we can manipulate the light. I guess we're just gonna go for that. We you can click this part right here, or you can make the ranges higher. Okay, see. Anyway. We go on with that. Let's see. I think, I think this is okay. Actually, we need to pop this up. Okay. And it is okay. Mm. Anyway. Mm. So we control save. Control S here. Because I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, that's that's that. Mm. So what we got to do is go for we're gonna put now the player here so what we're gonna do is go for assets folder here and go for player and you click this animation this this one is it is it this one i do, do double click to check yeah, it's this the one this is the one okay so what we're gonna do here is just click the, i'm just gonna rename this it's just confusing i'm just gonna put player Okay, and then after that, we just go for sprite mode and go for multiple. Because the reason why we go for multiple, so we can get it piece by piece, you know, pixel by pixel. That's why we go for multiple. Then after that, we go for a sprite editor, we click it, then apply. And now what we're gonna do here is just I think 
automatic is fine here yeah can be fine i think i think it's fine yeah hmm or we just uh just to make things much better i guess we're just gonna go uh this is 256 so i one two three four five six seven eight i guess we're just gonna divide it 256 we're just gonna get the calculator here we're just gonna get the calculator oh no not that one calculator and go and that's 256 right uh, this is the this is the horizontal and this is the vertical so we're gonna go for 256 and how many is that that's eight so divided by eight that's 32 so you put the 32 here the pixel size 32 and then how many is that now that one this one so one two three four five six seven eight nine so this one is nine so we go back here so that one two eight eight two eight eight here and then divide to nine oh wait that's 32 though i didn't know well we just go for 32 here hmm Hmm. Okay. is it yeah that one is this one is consistent now okay this is way better okay now we click apply okay after that you see now that okay we save it you see now that there's an arrow here click it you see it's there it's divided now we can just now we can drag i guess this is the how oh, wait, 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 let me check uh is this the idle i, I, I need to check I need to work right oh this is one mm, this is the idle mm -mm. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just gonna just include this one, this one, this one. Because I'm gonna use it for animation. Anyway, we just uh, drag this one for now. See this one. See that? And you can't see it because it's behind the background right now. So you can't see it. And we put this. Now it's here. And then we drag this to this world. Okay. Not under VG. So under BG. Now the reason why you can't see it because it's behind the background. So if we gonna go and there's a there's a layer here. It's the same as when you draw. There's a layer. And it's it's like a it's like a burger thing, you know? It's it on top of each other. So what we're gonna do is we go and click this uh, character right here and just go for sorting layer and art sorting layer. Okay. By default, this is what we have. Okay. If we go to this BG, you'll see the sorting layer is default. This one. And it's, it's order, in order in layer zero. Okay. Now, if we go back in this layer again, go here, sorting layer like this default and then add it's the same thing right default here and then default there so what we're gonna do is we just we're gonna set it to plus so we put bg so we're gonna layer it uh, the bg on the very uh the behind yeah very the most uh, behind layer at the corner okay then we just the player is going to be on the top of the uh, background always so what we're gonna do is just make a layer 
the reason why we're making this layer to make this organized basically so we're just gonna put characters right there and then just put it there okay now i mean there, there's a reason as to why i put it on the very first i'm, I'm gonna show it and the reason why later on okay we go back to our our bg and then we just set the sorting layer to bg you see it's popping up now but the reason it's popping up because uh this player is default on the the sorting layer of this this right now is the default and we know that if we check here add sorting layer default is on the very top that's why it's popping up now but we need to change it still to character okay to make this organized and then we just rescale it then we just rescale it you see you see that it's kind of blurred right it's kind of blurred if we go here it's blurred it's kind of it's kind of sucks so what we're gonna do is go back to our assets frog and then go to mobile and no player and then click this this one and just go for the uh, this compression right here go for none and then what more this this filter mode go for no filter okay and then apply you see now it's much better now okay see that much better i think i think it's uh i think it i think it's kind of large though we rescale it rescale it a bit oh yeah yeah that's how we said it that's how we said <laughs> there's so much going on and i guess that's, that's gonna be it for now and thank you for watching uh i'm out mr rabbit is out for now and bye bye